In this video, we're going to walk through a workflow to merge edits with default using the reconcile and post process. I am connected to my portal as my pForester user. This user owns the service and has the ability to view and manage all versions regardless of the access permissions or owner. This is similar to a GeoDatabase administrator as when using traditional versioning. Let's first walk through the basic workflow for managing my version using a manual reconcile and post process. Let's open the versioning tab where I can get access to the reconcile and post tools. As you can see, I am connected to my named version new polygons. I'm going to use the reconcile button to pull edits from the default version. This will include edits made since my last reconcile. After the reconcile process is complete, I'm going to use the post button to merge my changes with the default version. Now I'm going to walk through the reconcile post process for multiple versions within the service using the reconcile post tool. Let's open the versions view from the versioning tab. From here, I can see and manage all the versions for this service. As I mentioned earlier, I'm connected as the portal user that published this branch version dataset. As a result, I am the owner of this feature layer and have permissions to perform version administration tasks. We can see here that several users in our organization have created their own versions and completed some edits. Notice that the versions are owned by various users and have different access levels. Let's open the Reconcile Post tool. This tool is handy because it gives me the ability to process multiple versions at once. It's also useful when processing named versions where the version owner does not have permission to post to the protected default. This dialog that appears is an abbreviated version of the Reconcile Versions geoprocessing tool. The geoprocessing tool would be a good option if you wish to script this process. I'll start by selecting the three named versions that we want to reconcile post with the default here. I'm also going to check the Abort if Conflicts Detected option. This will bypass any versions that contain conflicts with the default version. I'm also going to check the Post and Delete versions after Reconcile, because my editors in this scenario are done with their projects. Let's run the tool. After this process completes, we can see that the named versions selected are removed from our list, and the map view is automatically refreshed to display new building footprints made in other versions. At this point, if any versions were skipped due to conflicts, they could be reviewed to perform the Reconcile Post process manually. This will give the version administrator access to the version changes tool and the conflict manager for a more interactive view of edits in the conflict. For the purposes of this overview, we are finished. We have reconciled and posted the changes made in other named versions with the default version and cleaned up the other user versions. We are now ready to move on to other project work. Mm -hmm.